Hello everybody and welcome back to the Train Brothers Railway. Today is a update on the maintenance side of the layout. We're going to give you a little walk around and then maybe after we'll run a train through our newly ballast section. But before we get to all that, let's give you a little update. So we haven't started to ballast this yet. We've been burning up some old ballast back there, which we'll show you. But we are so eager, we decided to take some buildings out and uh, we got most of our buildings out. There's a couple of them we're working on, but other than that, we got some buildings here. The moths are back, or the caterpillars are back eating our trees. So that's why we have the red tape on the tree to help them so they don't climb up. They'll either stick or turn around and hopefully go down and not eat the beautiful tree because we are starting to finally get some coverage from these trees, which is good. And if we walk back over here, we got some buildings, lots and lots of weeds. So we're going to have to bring some new ballast in here, pull these weeds, hide all those cords. But we've been trimming some trees back. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but we have been trimming. And we've got our tunnel portals in here. And I've got the station out there. So that looks really good. With the creeping jetty creeping over the tunnel portal. We are missing like a section there, but hopefully the creeping jenny grows right over it. We've got the water tower on top of the waterfall so that the town will have wonderful pressure for their water over there. And over here, we got some more buildings set up. This is a piece of tile from like a bathroom and we glue them down to there so they don't blow away. And we like to keep it like this so it looks like concrete or you could ballast right over it and you wouldn't know the difference. A little trick especially for where we are and it's being super duper windy and over here don't mind the pail this is kind of our maintenance pail where we have everything we need to keep the railway in good working order trowel this is really good for pulling leads because it's got a sharp point on it or moving ballast around paintbrush for moving ballast around and a bunch of other odds and ends still got to trim this tree but over here we have been, or I've been hard at work here. I put some new ballast in here. And we put the farm barn out. And we got the, excuse me, the farmhouse out and the silo. Gave them a new driveway to the railroad. And then right behind me here, we've got the building, a little blue building. We haven't put Buddy out yet on his front porch. He's in there sleeping. But we also, too, got some more fish and put some fish out in the pond. And we have our lily pads are starting to go. We got our little white leaf. Of course, we got to have the lighthouse. We got to fix the railing. We got, got broken storage. But got to keep an eye on the sea. And I guess let's go back over here through all these trees and you can take a look at the water tower high on top of the waterfall you want to put the logo of the channel up there or the name of the channel but we still got to figure out how to do that minus our garbage can full of weeds over on this side we got some new ballast that we put down we're starting to finally ballast this over here. Put a water tower here so when the steam train is coming through, they can fill up. So that'll be nice and cool. I, uh, I want to find like a station or something to go here. And we've got our station back in there. You gotta wire that guy up so that the lights turn on. You also over here have the tunnel portal. And we got that station there with the rail stop and the little siding. So, we only got to here, to the end here, because we got to pull this tree out here, because it is quite big, and it's right next to this, the main stem of the oak, or sorry, of the uh, birch, and here we're on the back side of the waterfall with the tower. What do you guys think? Do you like the water tower? I like it. But, anyways, what do you say we run a train through this new section and make sure this ballast is, uh, Good to go. All right. So, what are we gonna take out today? 
steam train? Uh, I don't know. Rolling stock? We're definitely going to need an open car, but I think we got one of those in Leo. Let's try the switcher. Oh, and can't forget this guy. All right, well, the switcher's been in here all winter. It's been in the loco shop getting worked on. It wasn't starting very well, but hopefully the guys have it running today and we can use it because these pipes right here, the construction crew wanted those for, <clears throat> excuse me, the back section so that they could uh, drain off the water coming off the mountain. So the switcher is just the job for it and we'll get a flat car over from our shed. But we're going to see if it'll start first. Some, it's been a little hard starting, so we'll see if we can get it going. Let's see if the guys fixed it. Come on, you can do it. Come on, catch. You can do it. There it is. Hey, look at that. Let's test the horn and the bell before we leave. That works. What about the bell? Yep, seems like they got that working too. And uh, let's put the front light on just for fun, just in case we end up having to go through a tunnel. Perfect. I think we're ready to roll. It's an old girl, but it still works well. Looking pretty good. All right, let's go get that flat car. Stop here and we'll run backwards and we'll go the opposite way. And clear for reverse. We have an obstacle on this line, so we're going to take this way and we're going to flip around. And go ahead and switch lines. Going past the new hydro lines. The hydro company's been putting the hydro in like crazy. We're starting to get hydro out on the layout. All the village folk are really, really happy about that. There it goes, behind the factory. And we're gonna run to the other side. All right, we need something with sides so the pipes don't roll out. And, but we don't, we need it a little wider. Let's go with the CP one. That way it's nice and wide. We can fit all the, everything in there that we need and we'll uh, be able to bring it to the newly ballast section. to go.
pipes up and then we can get out of here and bring them over to the new section. Well, there you have it everybody this is the spot where the crew wanted the pipes we'll offload them here and head back to the shed so until next time guys take care take it easy i hope you enjoyed this kind of different style video let me know if you like it and we can keep doing it or if we gotta change it up let us know until then guys take care take it easy keep on the rails bye guys <laughs>